July the 24th, 2022. Guys, we made it through another week. Uh, a lot of things are going on around the nation. You guys in California are really catching it uh, around the Yosemite and, and that area with the forest fires. And it's expanded rapidly this morning, the fire there. I think it's the Oak Fire they're calling it. Maybe I'm wrong, but it has to do with uh, that part of Central California and the uh, Redwoods. But it was zero con percent contained at about 11,500 acres involved. So uh, it's very dry there, and it's, uh, it just seems like there's fires going on all around the world. And a lot of and I mentioned it in the last video, but a lot of times it makes you think about the fire that um, will come upon the earth. And if you read Jeremiah, guys, God tells Jeremiah that to tell the people that I will scorch the earth, I, the plants will dry up, the crops will not yield, and I wouldn't mind doing a couple chapters out of Jeremiah in the future anyway because it's some very important information about what a lot of people don't realize. We are in the second earth age and the millennium will be the third. But Jeremiah 4, guys, talks about the very first earth age. And when you combine that with the first chapter in Genesis and you understand the Hebrew, it's quite an enlightening study. But right now, I want to focus on the book of Matthew, chapter 22. And uh, I'm not going to go directly there because it ties to what we are experiencing now. And we are all uh, have seen it. We're all guilty of the good and the bad of what we're dealing with. And one of the things that I've talked about on this channel and a lot of other people have is to prepare because we see what's coming down upon this planet. It's unlike anything we've ever seen before. And Christ told us there would be tribulations greater than any tribulation. And we're getting ready for that. And so we've talked about it. And, and one of my main things that I've talked about on my channel is take care of your family. And by doing that with uh, survival food, water, solar panels, things like that, right? That's what we've talked about. And most of you have done that and been prepared. And that's the first stage. But guys, the second stage is even so much more important than that for your ultimate salvation that we need to talk about it just a moment. And, and let me say this. What is the greatest commandment? We're looking at Matthew chapter 22. Uh, starting with verse 34 here, going through the end of that chapter. It's this subtitle, The Great Commandment. Let me read it for a moment. 2234 says, But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together, and they were talking about what Christ had done. Then one of them, which was a lawyer. Now, how many lawyers do we have in the politics today? Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, it's kind of like the court we see now in D.C. trying to get confessions. The Sadducee, I mean, the Pharisee said, Master, which is the great com commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thus Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, it says, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. Guys, if all the laws and the prophets hang on that, think about it, and you understand it. What else do you need? Christ put it in the words of red right here. These are the two commandments that you need. On all of the, on both of these commandments, all the laws and all the prophets lie. So how important is that? All right, say so we've um, tried to put it into a perspective of today, guys, and I'll do the best I can. But think about this. You're, pre you're prepped as best you can. Some more than others. Some are just kind of waking up and starting the preparation. But think about this. And let me say, let me back up just a hair. I saw an interview uh, a couple of days ago. And it was a fellow that was on there, and I think it was Doug Hagman, Steve Quayle, and one other guy. And this guy, was he's a 
big financial guy, but you can tell he's a firm believer in Christ and the word. And he was talking about years ago, he saw all this trouble coming back in 2008 and those fallouts and all. He'd had a couple million dollars, sold everything, got to move to a desert island somewhere, a Caribbean island, had the money and stayed there for a couple of years. He said it was the most miserable time of his life because not verbatim, but his heartstrings were tugging. God was talking to him and saying, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you not using what you have to help other people? And again, he said, it, and you could tell the way this guy talked, it was the most miserable time of his life. And so he, he came back, came back to society, and he wanted to start up a, a, a thing to help people. And he said, at first he came in there and he said that God if you'll if you want me to do this and um, it was a, a private school not a private school but a homeschooling organization that would put the kids back in the um, mentality of studying the scripture and the these commandments and things like that you know instead of what they're being taught now but he said Lord uh, when he first got back said Lord if you'll hit me with the funding I'll do this and the guy said his wife came to him and also the word of the Lord, again, not verbatim. And she says, the Lord's already given you the money to do this. That's his money. And I'm talking to all of you now. This is the thing about this video. This is the subject of it. Is that everything you have was given to you by God. And God owns everything. If it's money, wealth, whatever it is, right? And so now we went through the part of preparing and trying to save you and your family from the, the famine and other things like that, right? But when it comes down to it, it's your soul that matters. And God said, you, and he said it many different times, you take care of business, so I'm going to take care of you, right? And so this guy, he took that to me and, and invested in, in his idea instead of stopping and waiting for investors. He understood what his wife and God was telling him that you don't own that money. And guys, I'm telling you and I'm telling myself, I'm looking in the mirror. I don't own anything I have. And the greatest thing that I can do now is love thy Lord, thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. And how do you do that? But it has to do with the second commandment. Imagine the first two cover all the laws. It says, you love thy neighbors thyself. Now that neighbor is, includes your family, your friends, and people you don't know. So you've prepared yourself and your family. Now what can you do? What can you do now? You've done. You've taken care of your physical body. Listen to me. This is very important to me. It struck home with me, and I think it will with a lot of you. And I think a lot of you need to hear this. At least a few of you do. But you prepared, you've listened, you're very wise. Now what? You're sitting around, okay, I'm ready now. We're going, we're going to wait for the total collapse, for the demons to take over everything, the world to become total chaos. But what do we do to that point? Here's what you do. And many of you practice it. I try to practice it, and I'm going to do it even more. But you look around yourself, you look around your community, you look at your friends and your family, and you look for people in need. You've got what you've got. Why do you have it? Because you're blessed by the Father in heaven, our Father. And you should pray, you should win this video right now, anytime you want to. You should just close, bow your head and say, Father, thank you for what I have. And now I'm going to follow the second commandment because not only do I want my soul to survive, but I feel it in my heart, the need to help other people. And within, that's the, it's not your giving because you have to, it's your giving because you want to. And that's the true spirit of what Christ is saying here in the letters of bread. I'm not going to draw this out very long because of the message. I don't want to pollute the message. I want it to sink in what I'm talking about. And what I'm talking about is this. 
if you're prepared, or maybe you're not fully prepared, none of us are, but start looking around at people that are have less than you. How can you help them? What does Christ say? The second is like unto that, that shall love thy neighbors thyself. You've loved yourself and your family enough to prepare. Now, what does Christ really want you to do? And, <clears throat> well, it's the first two commandments, so he really wants you to do both. But by you doing the second commandment, that shows the first commandment is where? In your heart, in your soul, and in your mind. Why? Because thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all their mind. And how could you help a parent? He's our father, but how could you help a parent greater than to helping his other children that were in need, especially after he had blessed you? Because your money and your bank account, which could be in trouble very quickly if it's in a bank, that was given to you by God. It's his. Everything I have is his. Everything you have is his, including your heart, your soul, and your mind. So now focus on looking at people in your family and beyond that that are really down and out because of gas prices and food prices and show the Lord that you have him in your heart, your mind, and your soul. Love him with all, and your love to him by loving his children will, um, it will beam like a light to him. And then when it really gets deep, when it starts hitting the fan, you know who's going to be in favor? The people that took these first two commandments to heart. Again, I, I won't keep it any longer than that. I just, it was in my heart and I wanted to share it with you guys. Somebody needed it besides me. I hope someone gets that. It's a heads up. Be safe.